Yeah, is Patrick Duffy here today? Yes. We hear. Oh. I'm hearing things. Uh, Whoa. I'm hearing that we have a weirdo among us. Well, we someone, all. We kind of knew he was weird. Someone is a tattle. Tale. Thing. A tattletale? We got a tattletale. I hope we don't have a tattletale. Patrick That's worse Duffy. than a weirdo. Nope. Are you a weirdo? Uh, I guess so. What? I, I, it updates. I don't know who said this, but obviously someone that knows you. They said uh, Patrick Duffy is a weirdo. He's among you. Uh, have him tell uh, you what he used to do in high school. I don't know. Oh, eat boy. vomit in front of the whole country? <laughs> yeah, we saw a man vomit on this guy's face. Yeah, how, how much of a... This is the star of the Baby Bird video, just in case you want. Yeah. Patrick Duffy. I was, uh, I was kicked out of eighth grade for half the year for making death threats against the entire grade, if you want to consider that a weirdo. Oh, Yeah. I made a certain list of certain people that needed to go first in order of importance. You were one of these guys that made you the list? You were a list yeah, absolutely. guy? Absolutely. Oh, you hack. I was going to say the same thing, man. <laughs> That's fucking hack. It was right after uh, right after Columbine, and then they uh, oh, so escorted me out immediately. You wanted the attention? Pretty much. Okay. Did you have any seriousness in that at all? Like, Even would I actually go through with it? Yeah. Did you actually think you might do it? I wanted to really You badly. wanted to? Really bad. Now, who was on the list? What what people were on there? What did they just do like, to you? That Just like the popular kids. What the fuck is it with the popular kids? I fucking hate them. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah? I still do. I, the people that are on the list in my head I'm going through right now, I still hate them. You still hate them? And I, I would have to set them on fire if I had the chance. Wow. <laughs> who the wow. fuck interviews these people? <laughs> That question doesn't come up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe no. you should have a weirdo question in, in the uh, interview. Yeah, are sense. you a weirdo? Check. Are you a weirdo and why? No, you just say, do you have a list? And they say, what? Then you know they're okay. Yeah. If they say, yes, I do. Yeah, I do. They can't look I have good. a list. So the popular, uh, any girls on there? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Girls yeah. also. Uh, especially the girls. Like, if I was going to be a nut and go shoot up a place like that, I wouldn't be able to shoot girls. I I'd would, be an exclusive, like, shoot the guy th uh, kind of guy. I would prefer girls. You'd like more to <laughs> shoot the girls than the guys? Yeah. Holy Why? shit, you are a weirdo. Rejection? <laughs> Pretty much. You're not a bad looking guy. Well, I don't but know. But don't you understand the rejection is all your fault? Like this fucking lunatic down in Virginia. It was his fault. He blamed the popular kids and... Uh, and women and mm -hmm. things like that. And Columbine, the same thing. Blaming the jocks, saying they were bullied, this, that, the other thing. Well, regardless if they were really bullied or not, most of the times it's just you don't have the personality. The, you don't fit in. And instead of accepting the fact that you're the fucking weirdo, you look at everyone else as they're mean to me and, mm -hmm. and open fire. Basically. So you're, are you that fucking weird? Were you weird in school? I was. Did you have friends? A couple, yeah, but they were just as weird as they me. They were weirdos, just as weird. Yeah. Wow, it's getting hot in here. Uh, why no. are we? Why are it's we? It's uh, getting hot in here. Hey, have you had fun so far, son? At your experience here at the Open Nothing program? Oh, absolutely. Uh, Add a boy. I love it. That's good. To <laughs> like him toe in record time. Uh oh. That was yeah. just a, that yeah. was a drill. Yeah, it was just, yeah. it was just that was a, a drill, drill Poe. All right, welcome, Mr. Brownstone. <laughs> Mr. Brownstone. Oh, uh, this could be oh. Mr. Brownstone. I'm kind of. Is that what you're getting at? Fascinated. Yeah. By this whole list Dude. thing, and and so you you made the list. Did you have a way that you were going to kill people? Uh, not really. It was really more or less like just if I can get my hands on anybody, then I would just. But were you was, inspired by Columbine? Did that like it, did it you go? Wow, really, that's kind of cool. It was really right around the same time, and then as soon as that happened, I was like, those guys have the right plan. Those guys Holy know what they're doing. See, that's Shit. what that's what pisses me off about all this coverage. We mentioned this this morning in the office. Mm. That's what scares me is a bunch of other weirdos out there, and they and they set the mark to like the what the uh, the biggest school shooting in the history of the United States. Yes, or the and biggest the, whatever. The bars so been set. I, yeah, now you got all the weirdos out there going. Well, now I gotta mm. I gotta beat third. 31, 32, 33, yeah. whatever the official total is. And that scares the shit out of me that they keep pounding that into everyone's head. Um, did you ever hurt animals? No. I, I actually very much prefer animals over humans. Over people. Yeah. Both sociopaths do. Um, yeah, true. Ted Kaczynski, both. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember going to school and there was, like, certain people that I couldn't fucking stand because they didn't like me for some reason. Mm -hmm. And, uh... You know, those people, you, I, I would be like, you know, oh, man, would I like to fucking kill that asshole. But it wasn't this collective of popular people or people I barely knew. Like, it was people I knew because they were such assholes. Like, this this seems like very random and vague. I really hated everybody because I felt like everybody got a better shot at life than I did. 
if that makes any sense. Uh, At that age, what the fuck shot did anyone well, get? Right. You're no. all in the same boat. I can tell school. you, I think everyone feels like that. Yeah. Growing up especially. Holy who do, shit. Who do you hate on staff? Please. Nobody. Note to self, never. Come on. Bon Jovi. Me and Bon Jovi. Yeah, Bon Jovi's gone. gone. Out. He's really? gone first. He's on that list. But did you understand that you were living in the fantasy world, or was there a part of you oh, that yeah. felt like you could really do this? I really felt like I felt like it was healthier to think about it rather than act it out. How did you get caught? Uh, I talked about it. I was where I, in school. So I actually, who? I remember actually a girl being like, "Am I on your list?" And I was like, "You goddamn right, you are." Oh, and yeah. then she went and. Did, I, but yeah. Do you think that's the difference, though? The kids that are actually going to carry this out, they're not going to brag that they even have a list. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think you find the list later nope. in their room. I think there's a. I think it's a. There's a line there. I think it, if. I think he could have gone either way. Could have been one of those kids that make a list and never do anything, or make a list and something pisses you off and you fucking go for it. Oh my God! You are a lunatic. <laughs> You're a weirdo kook guy. Well, with a list. I had a list. You had the list. Had was was the list taken from you? No, it was. They uh, never got the list. No, I actually I actually tried Still to happened. do some preventative maintenance and I destroyed it. But yeah. they I already talked about it too much. They knew about it. Now, what were the repercussions aside from just being taken out of school? Were you given uh, counseling? Oh yeah, I was immediately <laughs> taken out of school, and my my dad Duff had to take me to his counseling like three times a week, and. He, uh, and what what would the counselors say? Like, ask you. They were just like, they're like, how are you feeling today? Could you draw a picture of a man and a woman? They're like, you got to draw pictures? I had to draw pictures of a lady. And, like, I, I intentionally played it up. I drew her, like, angry eyes and, like, all kinds of other stuff just to, just to really fuck with these people. But it was, like, half me fucking with everybody. Did you, did you purposely shit. do that for the attention? Like, uh, right. Once I got caught, I was like, well, fuck it. I might as well just go all out and then kind of be as crazy so as I could So you knew you could just draw a regular picture, but you just had oh, no oh, desire yeah. to. Absolutely. Now, you that. were thrown out for how long? Uh, I was thrown out. It was, well, Columbine happened April 20th of 99, and then... Immediately after that, for the rest of the year, so the whole May and June. Okay, oh, when God. you came back, what happened? Where, standing, where you looked at like standing ovation in the middle of uh, graduation practice for eighth grade. Are you kidding? They had the they had all the somebody, they had uh, all these safe pat rallies. Just yeah. by your dad, like they had some fuck yeah. up, please. They had, you know, no, he, my dad called me and told me to uh, not say anything about this. He's like, if you, there's a job interview, somebody's gonna find out about it. Uh. But uh, they had these rallies for they had a walkout. The student body had a walkout for me. To get me back in school. Why would they? Why? I don't know. I would want you out of there. Try a drill for when he starts shooting people. Yeah. <laughs> they, had, they had to run out a and run hide out. under the desk. <laughs> it seems like he, he was a popular kid, obviously. Standing ovation. It's people getting up and screaming as yeah. they run from the yeah. building. Yeah, yeah you're delusional. Yeah, that wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> they gave me a standing ovation. By the way, cool. you can no, take. That was them just putting their hands up. You can yeah. take Friday off, Petrified. by the way. <laughs> you can take whatever yeah. day off you want. Friday, you don't need to commit. Why don't you sit down and relax? Why don't you just become part of the show? Was there a stigma on? You, I were you watch like you at all times. Were you looked at like yeah the weird guy that Absolutely. was going to kill it, people? The stigma stuck with me for the rest of my uh, my school career until wow. people were always were like that guy's a little hey, weird. What's in the bag, man? Yeah. Fucking gun. But, what do you got in there? But I didn't help because I really played it up a lot. Once I got the stigma, I was like, well, fuck you. I, I, if you guys think I'm crazy, I'll act crazy. Yeah, you might as well. Hey, yeah. my trench coat. Were you wearing a trench coat? <laughs> no, I wasn't. I would have done that. Kid. Black fucking trench coat. No, I used ah, to wear um really. Hack. I used yeah, to wear really. He was hack. You list. gotta go prep clothes. He's a list guy. You gotta go prep. You now. I used to wear you gotta pop the collar. Just, yeah. just uh, like fit in. Yeah. That's the new way. Just Stop used, interrupting sorry, this sorry, young sorry, man. Sorry. Oh, the young man wants to he's say gonna something. Gonna kill you. Let's not upset him. Gonna, you're no. right. Go he's ahead, young man. Writing, no, Anthony, whole, please. The young man is trying yeah. to oh, talk. My <laughs> whole my whole stick was I'd wear extremely offensive t-shirts. Just like what? Like I had one shirt that I actually had made on the front. It said, "I wish Jesus were alive today," and on the back said, "So I could kill." him oh and you would wear this in school and i had um and this had, guy's getting our food every day what's wrong and i had a shirt Steve? shirt that said choose death rather than choose life choose death yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, uh anti crombie those those generally like the hot topic anti cool shirts yeah and just I, I was just trying to wear absolutely wow. offensive shirts anything anti said, crombie anything that said like abercrombie and fetch anything that said fuck <laughs> on it i would try to wear <laughs> so steve you interviewed uh well actually we kind of promised him an internship after yeah, we let yeah. uh I pat from anaki puke on interviewed his face him basically yeah, yeah. yeah. The bus on my chest. I seem to remember. Yeah, his right. only Pooping qualification his was that Pat from Unaki puked all over his face. He didn't need a, an interview, really. Who else is thinking Pat from Unaki's first on his new list? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, no. uh, you never made another list after that? No. Mental list. Mental list. Oh, what? mental list. Yeah, nothing Nothing hard copy. Right. No evidence. E you feel, you feel all right now, though? Yeah, I, f I feel much better now. Yeah, no, I. I any, any medication? Yeah. No. no, they put me on um. They put me on Ritalin and Adderall. 
for mm. quite a while, but what I would do is I'd take them, put them under my tongue, and then spit them out in the bathroom. James fucking Bond. So... But that's nice. what I would. I gotta tell you, you're, you fit in perfectly around here. I, I, I think we have nothing but weirdos in this joint. And uh, E Rock's got a list. Coke Logic is say, I'm on your list. Hulk Hogan yeah. and your dad. Oh, <laughs> a, list of, a list of heroes. Bon Jovi's got an issue. Uh, he told me one time, if I didn't stop making fun of him, there'd be a serious problem. What were you making fun of? <laughs> but just him in general. Yeah. What's wrong with him? He's stupid. How is he stupid? Oh my God. I never found him to be stupid. I never, I never believed that. Will you stop? <laughs> no, no. I want to know how Bon Jovi thinks he's stupid. How Bon Jovi? No, we just like to tease him a lot. But recently, uh, we Who's were making, we? Uh, oh God, me and the other lie. interns. Craig. Craig. Yeah. Uh, there was a recent thing with uh, his ex-girlfriend he, that he got very angry about. Oh no! Oh. Are you crazy? Oh. You guys are nuts. <laughs> this guy is like. What was the Craig quote actually? Oh, he's. You want, to say you want me to say it? Oh, might as well. Are you gonna yeah, get me? Listen, Craig. if we're gonna put it all out, we might as well. Yeah. All right. Oh shit! Oh wow, this is good. <laughs> uh, the official quote I said. <laughs> get on the I'm mic. Sorry. I'm fucking retard. The official the quote that I said when we were standing over by the for no reason. photocopier. I go, Pat Duffy, how do you feel about your ex-girlfriend sucking another man's cock? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> and you guys knew about the list before now? Nope. No. 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 Yeah. no. What was your response to that? That was a, uh, I guess you know, citizen journalism. What was your? <laughs> it was. Yeah. Uh, it was really a, a reaction of shock and then immediate anger. Whose cock yeah. was she sucking? Some somebody that I will murder. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh I don't know wow! Wait, wait, wait. Oh man! Are like, you guys broken I'm, up? Hold though? on, hold on, hold on, because I want to save your your life. Thank here. you. So you broke you up. Don't really with the girl. mean that? No, I don't. I don't really mean that. Two, uh, two right. countries. How I don't long did you date her? Doesn't matter. Ends up dead. Doesn't matter. Your fucking disclaimer ain't gonna mean shit. How long did you date her? Beginning of last summer we probably dated for six months before she went to college and then decided to suck cocks every day wait wait did she break up with oh, you first she, no <laughs> while you were dating no, she was I, cheating uh, well we were dating we would talk every day and then one Friday she was like I don't want to talk to you this weekend come Monday I find uh, out uh oh all kinds of shit the went down. The girlfriend's name isn't Jenny, is it? No, it's not. Wait, she said, I don't want to talk to you this All weekend. Well, like, she's like, this Hello. weekend. Jesus. She's like, Thank this you. weekend, I think it'd be a little better if we don't talk. I'll talk to you on Monday. And then I found out that there things went some, down. and There was some down? big sucking going on. Uh, she apparently... She did. Yeah, she uh, <laughs> she hooked up with uh, two different people in the same oh, weekend. Oh, wow. Two so. different guys in the same weekend. Mm -hmm. And then how did you find that out? Uh, she told me. What she, she say? told you? Yeah, because I called her up and I could tell that she was like real, like something's weird. I was like, just level with me. What's going on? What was you hear gurgling? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's just. And she told me what happened, and then I just kind of freaked out. What did she say? I sucked this cock. No, she was like, she's like, I hooked up with uh, with this dude, and then I was like, really? That's that's fun to tell Hooked me now. Up. How and, old are you? Uh, I'm 21. I'll be 22 next month. Okay, and we're, uh, is she away from school? Yeah. How far away? Uh, three hours. It's 110 miles from my house. So you dated for six months, she hooked up to school. 110.8 <laughs> miles. Pretty much. From probably. <laughs> five away. And you know she probably hooked up more than she told you. Well, yeah, because I, I got a, like, 10 minutes after she told me that, she's like, and I also kind of hung out with this other guy. What'd she do with him? Just, uh, I don't think she, I don't think she had sex with him, but she definitely made out and other things like she that. She sucked his dick? Probably. Did she oh, say that? Wow. I No, but she told me she sucked the first guy's dick. And she told me that she only... <laughs> Why she would she, she say that? She told me that she would yep. only blow people that she really cared about and that she would only blow me. And then she hooks up with some guy she doesn't even know and then she's blowing him. What the fuck? I know. How, when oh, when wow. did this happen? This was, uh... Well, recently. How like, old is she? She's 19. Oh, man. It's uh, hard when they go to school, man. Oh, well, I know. You got a picture Especially of her? Especially when they promise that they'll be faithful. Do you have a picture of her? Uh, I can get you one. On you? Yeah. I can show you one. Yeah? Yeah, let's see what she looks like. Did you break uh, up? Uh, for good? Well, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much so. I haven't talked to her in a while. Breaking up. Would you I'd take her back? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's a maybe. It's hesitant. It, well, it's, just, it's, it's hesitant. hard. It's like it's the first person you really fall in love with. Mm -hmm. Oh, really sucks. no. You're really, in love really, and everything? I was, yeah. Really. Oh, you poor bastard. How long ago? No, I never would. How long ago? Uh, She's, she's. Uh, well, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. How long ago did this whole thing happen? Uh, like the first, well, the first time she hooked up with somebody was in October, and then I got over that, and then got over. This, that. Wait, 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 hold on. You dated her after she hooked up with someone? Yeah, but it was it, she was drunk and didn't know what she was doing. Oh, okay. and then uh, he would argue that she did. Well, I know, but this the the, the final time came in uh, February, I believe. <laughs> While I was here, actually, she wow. texted me when I was here. Can I ask you so, some? Oh. Why would she tell you she's sucking all this cock? I don't know, because I I'm the kind would of guy you do that do something to her. No, never. I was always good. And then that's why. And then apparently you had to tell these guys. Well, no, I, I, how did you guys? How find did out? you guys find out? He won microphone, you one, fuck. 
She said, one day he they, they are the guys. <laughs> one day he approached me with a question Awful. asking that if it was bad oh, yeah. if he heard a male voice in the background while he was talking to his girlfriend. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was uh, so right, and you guys right from that there. I assumed on. That's, I, oh, that's I, I didn't want yeah, any some part cock stuff was going on. Mr. Duffy's personal life. Uh huh. So then out of nowhere, I just didn't know that she was sucking other cock, and I just asked the <laughs> Wait, question. We got pictures. No. Oh, just sorry. asked the question, and oh, yeah. apparently he got very uh, mad. He got yeah. Well, he Are you should. Ah, <laughs> uh, he comes running over to uh, Obi's yeah. computer. He's gonna punch up a picture of her, see what she uh, looks like. Nineteen, and uh, poor uh, Patrick. Uh, <laughs> poor Patrick Duffy was in love over there. Why are you showing me surveillance? In love, her. So in love that he like like went back. After in October, after she uh, cheated on him once, God damn! And then uh, you were there a few more months, and then she pulls this. Uh, I was sucking cock over the weekend. Pat, was she your first fuck? Uh, no. Okay. No. Was she the best? One of. Okay. One of. One of what? One of the best. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you're scaring me. <laughs> oh, you got man. Crazy eyes. Was that last he looks like the kind of guy you could Good see in the paper. On the fucking 25th, she tells me she loves me. <clears throat> fucking cunt. <laughs> wow. She did? Oh, my God. What the she told you she loved you? Dude, he's losing On the 25th of last month? This is her right here. Or February? Which one? That's her. You, you know there's only one Let's way see. out of this, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you could spin that fucker around. Can I, Let me say, can I be completely oh, honest with you? Where is Patrick she? Duffy, you like us, right? I'd love you guys. I, I, I honestly think you can do better than this whore. Is she the one with the uh, thumbs up over there? Yeah. Let me say. <laughs> thumbs up. Here. She's Sorry, on. That one's Someone must have just said to her, did you give head? <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, Patrick. Come on. She looks First like, of all, she looks like your sister. <laughs> she looks like she could be your sister. She looks like Gilda Radner. No, no that's, that's, that's not a, Let that's me see another picture. picture. Let right, me see the picture of the two girls together. That's her roommate. Down at the bottom. Uh, do you any have any shots of her playing the pan flute so we can at least get a technique idea? Jesus. Okay. It, oof. <laughs> have enough pictures of her? Isn't she the one in the middle with the uh, three it, girls? This is her. This is her. This is yeah, her. Yeah, give me that one. This is her. Yeah, yeah that, that one. MySpace? That's her. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, yours? That's her MySpace. That was a picture right there oh, that uh, happened right after we broke up the first time, and I was like all wasted and depressed, and I looked at that, and I was like, oh, she's so happy. <laughs> oh, man. Look, she's with her friends smiling, and yeah. you're all yeah. depressed. Dude. I got uh, you know something, Patrick? Yeah. Fuck her, man. Yeah. Fuck her. You know what you ought to do? You You're ought to done. call on the phone. Mm. You ought to call on the phone right now and just say, you know what? We're yeah, all looking at your pictures. Let's get her on the phone. And uh, would she come on the air or no? We'd have to tell her that she's on the air. We yeah, let's get her on the it. phone. All right. Yeah. She'll wait. kill me. Well, I'll talk to her. Tell she her what you already stop. did. Like, like with your breaking your heart like that. You you gotta, you, you, I think you're still, you know. Patrick, as bummed out as you are, do, you do realize she's not worth it, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. Ah, oh, say the hesitation again. He's still guys like me don't get, don't come across chicks like that. Like oh, that? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You're, you're, I, listen, from where I come from, that's pretty much. See, she's all wasted. A picture. I want to punch her in the face. Oh, she is. Hot. <laughs> um, <laughs> is she the one with the necklace? Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. When she nice. takes her glasses off, she's a lot hotter. Wait a minute now. When did we do baby birds? Who's calling oh, you? My dad's calling me. Oh. Duff, call the show. When was Baby Bird? Yeah, December. December first. Okay. All right. Get get your dad on this. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I, no, I'm I'm not digging oh, yeah. her. I don't know if we can call her. I'm not call digging her. her. Well, let's get your dad on the line. Call her an I think your dad's going to try to save your 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 career. <laughs> <laughs> Am I ruining it? No. No, you're fine. No. No. You're no right. Everything's <laughs> fine. Oh, as well. Have you looked around yeah. this joint? You're you're you fit right yeah, in. That's my dad's number. Okay. All right. We'll oh. get. Uh, don't worry. Line. Stop whining. No. Stop playing that. That's. <laughs> oh, you're fine. No, I don't, I'm not digging her. Have you dated other uh, girls since this? No. Why? Tried to, but <laughs> you got to use the radio show. Well, yep. Pat, do you want to talk about your most recent attempt? Psh, what? Listen, we're, we're, we're putting it all out. Might as well. Might as well I like Pat. Pat. He's day. open. Oh, Pat's I like a that. Good boy. Oh, What's your most this? recent one? Uh, new friend. Uh, well, no, I don't have a recent... No, one. recent attempt. A uh, recent attempt yes. was uh, probably the stack of pictures that Iraq is holding. Oh, no. Thank you, sir. Thank you. What okay, the hell a little is water the... I tried you. to find a girl on, my, on uh, Craigslist. It didn't work out for me. <laughs> What's the problem? Dude, what are... Okay, take E-Rock's... one, pass it down. He tried to pick up this chick? Oh, say... wait, you thought she was free? <laughs> oh, no. No, she was, but... Wait, wait is this wait, girl wait, wait, blind? Wait. I don't know. No. 
Why did it's, Why uh, did you write blind oh, Craigslist no, date? No, because it was a blind date set up through Craigslist. Oh, oh blind okay. date. <laughs> Jimmy knows what this is about. I'm, no, I'm laughing because you asked if she was blind. I think yeah, it's blind. 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 God, like, the like scrawling on here is. Is that your handwriting? Oh, no, that's not mine. Oh, okay. I was going to say, yeah. wow. What we're looking at is angry. a girl. She's a brunette. She's completely naked. She's on her belly. You see, she's lifting up just enough where you can see about three quarters of her boob. She's covering her chin also with her hand. Like, this This is a very staged picture to uh, take away because she's big. She's she a took, big girl. She took those uh, for me. That's Did what she? she? Told me. Yeah. <laughs> she's a big girl. So what happened with the blind date? <laughs> um, I showed up. She didn't. <laughs> um, Did you ever talk on the phone to her? <laughs> yeah. Where'd you show up? Uh, well, we kind of. She's from the same town that I just moved to, and we were going to meet at a neutral location. Yeah, and I went out there, and uh, she never showed up. Did you ever call her back? No. So I. Why? Just, you never know what you should have. What the fuck? She didn't show up. Maybe she had an accident. You should have said what happened to you. Her car might have so. broke down. Maybe she took a shit and couldn't get off the bowl. Sometimes she, you get stuck. You should have called her. <laughs> She might or at least have, had cunt. She might have been there, and she was just waiting to see what you look like. Patrick Duffy, why don't you take a seat over here and have some lemonade? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> just a little track. You're here for some. Yeah, all right, hold on. Pat's dad is on the line here. Oh, Jesus. Hey, uh... Pat's dad. Pat's dad. <laughs> Pat's dad, turn down the radio. I saw... All right, what's up? I like the Pat dad, a stupid Pat Duffy. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? Uh, what a fucking moron, you dope, you... What the hell are you bringing all that shit out for? What? It was so long ago, who cares? I mean, all the goddamn psychiatrists that drug you to, and, and don't forget the made-up friends, <laughs> in China, they had to move back to China. Um, Sian okay. Chewy, thank you very much. Sian Chewy? Sian Chewy was my... Wait, 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 you had an imaginary friend named... S what? In fucking kindergarten, why are you bringing that up now? Oh, it's kindergarten. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter, that's... What, wait, what well, happened to Sian Chewy? Sian Chewy had to move back. Why? Because he, he didn't like me anymore. Wait, let's explain the imaginary friend. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm the only one who's capable of having an imaginary friend that stops liking you. Look, look let's get right to the bottom of this. How much money do you need, man? I'll, I, whatever. I, I happen to have a checkbook here with me today. Jimmy had Helen, so mm -hmm. yeah, that's all right. a little so odd. So what was the imaginary friend about? Oh, I just had an uh, imaginary friend who was, uh, who was an Asian foreign exchange student because in elementary school I had trouble finding friends, so I made uh, one up named Sian Chewy. Yeah, yeah but why one Sian Chewy? Chewy though? Because that was the uh, <laughs> probably the most stereotypical Asian name I could think of. And, and Dad, did you ever uh, 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 catch Pat play with <laughs> Sian Chewy? Sian Chewy. Sian Chewy. Right? No, no, no. We tried to sit at one of the play date things, you know. And uh, oh, oh, no, no, he's not home today. He's yeah, not alive, you know? I uh, I would present it as if he was real and tell my mom and dad like, oh, I have this awesome friend and his name. See on Chewy, he should come over. My mom would give me extra lunch to give to him. Oh, and uh, I really, you know, they really fell for it. And then they I was like, actually, I made it up. <laughs> you finally told him. Yeah, because they, they figured it out once I was like, what, what, what did you think when he told you? Were you just like, oh my god, my son is a fucking weirdo? Well, yeah, right. And then, well. I mean, we lived on three acres on the side of a mountain on a dirt road in Hunterdon County, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Jimmy's from Jersey. He knows what goes on up yep. in the woods. Banjos and shit, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come on. Hey, Pat, but why uh, Why did your imaginary friend leave because he didn't like you anymore? That that seems almost impossible if you have an imaginary friend. Yeah. And why back to Asia? You would think anything yeah. else, like, yeah, move back to Asia. Halfway around the planet. Yeah. What? SARS. He oh. realized his dick was smaller than the average four-year-old. <laughs> Just one day, <laughs> he decided that uh, he no longer wanted to be my friend. Do you have any other friends in your head? Uh, not not in the moment. No, any other ethnic any. ones like Karate Chapo? <laughs> <laughs> karate Chapo. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, how about the Italian kid? Parmigiani. <laughs> <laughs> so now, Pat's dad, that whole episode with the uh, list and everything, uh, it was right after Columbine. What the hell were you thinking when you found uh, this out? Uh, he, and that's when uh, email and all that, not, why not? He was a pretty good kid with the computer and stuff. I mean, uh, counselors and stuff wanted a computer, uh, and then I had no idea what it was at the time, but he had Hotmail. I'm going, what the hell's Hotmail? You know, and then, I mean, just, just the crap we had to go through with all the school teachers, and I mean, if I had a bunch of money, I would have got me some good lawyers, but that, what are you going to do? Well, I see, because now you're looking at it like, hey, they, you know, they shouldn't have uh, done what they did. Exactly, because oh, he's, see, not, he's not that kind of kid. You know? Well, he's, see, that, now, now, I think any parent would say that. Maybe he no, was no. a threat. Well, the standing ovation, if we can believe what Patrick Duffy's saying, uh, make, makes me oh, think true. that they overreacted a little bit. That happened. Then he had the uh, the eighth grade prom, had to get special permission for him to go there. 
I mean, and uh, they wanted me to go. I said, it's up to him. The teacher says, no, he'll be fine. He had another standing over there, too, you know. Dude. I mean, the kids really liked him. It wasn't, hey, Pat, wasn't no baloney. Pat's dad, you know? did your son turn into a rock star after this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Christ. So, so. Yeah, he had, the, he had the green mohawk and stuff. He, he made it to Japan and England anyway. What was, was the name of the, what was the name of that band, Pat? It, it doesn't matter. They don't need to be. Plucked. What was the name of the band? Oh. I was in a band. And oh, they're not in. They, no, fuck those guys. Okay. And uh, I was in a band, and, and we uh, I was a tour manager. Went to Japan and England. Okay, That's all. but I had a green mohawk. That's the point of that. A story. green mohawk. Yeah, and so it was that retarded. was looking a little. So the kids got talent. We got to just like uh, get them focused on something. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, well. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna adopt Patrick Duffy. Make all sure right. he's okay. That is something. That is. Yeah, he's some... really. He's a really good kid. He ain't, he ain't like the weirdos that you, you're, you're talking about today. But no, of course, course not. not. No. <laughs> no, 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 he's a really good kid. He really is. What do you think of his ex-girlfriend? Uh, let's put it this way. She's in military academy. And she's going to be a second Louis when she graduates. So what does that tell you? Uh, you tell me. Motivated? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she loves cock uh, and she loves country. <laughs> yeah, I know. cock and country. <laughs> if, if that's what's really happening. She'll keep up the troops' morale, if you know what I mean. Yeah, but what have you told your son? Like, it, I mean, you've had experiences yourself, I'm sure. He must, you must have told him that this girl ain't worth it. Oh, I told him, forget it. There's more out there. Just go for it. Yeah, there's yeah. more out there. Yeah, well, you, you got. You still don't understand on. the show, by the way. Someone's saying this has got to be a bit. No, no one would admit not. this. It ain't a bit. I'm, I'm trying to get this tractor trailer through the goddamn turnpike now. Jesus, stuff. <laughs> it ain't no bit. <laughs> Duff. <laughs> He stopped being dad around the time of this whole list thing. Really? And I was like, listen, you're by no his, longer dad. By his request. Did yeah. <laughs> yeah. you call me Duff and Dave? Yeah. Did you just call him Duff? <laughs> yeah, I just really stopped calling him dad around that time, why, too. Why is that? Because my brother and sister call him Mike because they're my half-brother and sister. So I'm like, fuck it. If nobody's going to call you dad, I'm not going to. So you're Duff. <laughs> right. <laughs> Way to band together as a family. <laughs> yeah. No, we're all really cool. We're all really close. Oh, that's that's just, funny. Pat's, Pat's dad just said, "All right, whatever yeah, you want, all right? Whatever you want, son." <laughs> nah, he calls me dad when he needs to. He knows. He knows the deal. Mm. That's Do fun. I? Hey, he tried, he tried to get a blind date through Craigslist, and we're looking at the picture. Of this, he doesn't uh, know about that. This girl, she's <laughs> naked. <laughs> she, she looks like a goer. Obviously. Yeah, you could definitely. Uh, but then he tried to meet up with her, and she wasn't get there. Going. Where was she from, Pat Peabird? Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> what, what's that about that? We just uh, we just moved to a different area. I just moved to a different area, and it's kind of like uh, a Where's lower income go? area, if yeah. you want to say. So, like, the kind of chicks that live around there are of lower quality. She looks a little trashy, yeah. I gotta tell you. I kind of yeah. like that, though. Yeah, yeah a little skanky. <laughs> yeah. You guys keep moving one step ahead of the law, right? No, no, nothing like They're that. They're on your tracks, no. aren't they? No. That's a good-looking like kid. He can beat a girl. He's a nice boy. It's Whiskey Tango, man, P-Bug. Mm-hmm. Hey, we should do yeah. uh, uh, the weirdo dating game. We could get you abroad. Dude, that'd be awesome. We could get you abroad. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll hook you up. You'll have to sign all sorts of paperwork, but uh, <laughs> we yeah. could get you a soul shade. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Choker. And it might have to be supervised by the uh, the FBI, but uh, we could we could work something out for you, Pat. All right. Anything else there, Pat's dad? Nah, I'm good to go. He didn't screw, he didn't screw his shit up, did he? No, don't nah, worry about it. He's fine. You what kidding you me? Think? Now we like him even more. Can't oh. can't fire him now, dude. We could we could name just a list of weirdos that have worked for us. This is nothing. Well, I remember him. <laughs> All right, thanks, thanks, uh, thank you, Pat's dad. Thanks, Duff. Duff. Yeah. All right, guys. Have yeah. a good day. Later. Later. Duff. I love you, Dad. Duff. Duff. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's Duff. just looking for some love. <laughs> He said that real fast and then laughed, but you know it's really a cry. No, that, that, yes. Yeah. Pat Duffy, yeah. there are uh, so many people saying get her over her. Really? Yeah. yeah. All, all fat guys. <laughs> yeah. I was I was into a chick back in uh, in Buffalo. Liked uh -huh. her a lot. And, uh, well, she decided to blow her ex-boyfriend and uh -huh. leave it on my voicemail 15 times. Yeah. 15 times? Over and over and over again. What'd she the, say? I'd still be serving time for that. The guy... Oh. Well, when I started dating her, like, this old boyfriend was kind of still sort of in the picture, and I'd start... I always would question her about it. She's like, nah, 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 nah. That's... You're ridiculous. Just blah, like blah. the call the other day. Huh? Yeah, just like the call the other day, the ex-boyfriend in yep. the picture. Oh, yeah, yeah. Never and, uh... And so then I, uh... And this is the God's honest truth. Then I, like... Even though it hurt, Pat... I decided to move on, and I did, and I started, like, just seeing this girl 
not too seriously, but whatever. But word got back to her, and for some reason, because she was just a psychopath, she got so pissed off, she decided to uh, have sex with her ex-boyfriend, the one I was curious about there and wondering about. And uh, he was pretty much eating her out on my uh, voicemail over and over again. Oh, and hey, she, how about that? And then she blew him, and then, uh, and then f you know, full-on action. Uh, yeah. God damn it. Whack your bag to it? <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it's a true story, and I swear I have this tape somewhere. I, I just can't find it to this day. I got hundreds and hundreds of cassettes. It's on a cassette somewhere in my uh, in my. Uh, you just house. played it on the air. I did play it on the air. Oh, you did? In Buffalo. Oh, okay. That was the tape. I played yeah, on the air in Buffalo, and I also played for her mom and her <laughs> grandfather. Oh. oh, okay. That's good. She loved her grandfather to death because she didn't have a father because, I don't know, he died like early on in the picture. So she looked up to the grandfather, and in, in the grandfather's eyes, like, this girl could do no wrong. So uh, I said, oh, yeah. Apparently she couldn't. That's... And, and I knew when he was working, and, no and I worked at a radio station, so I had it set up oh. nice in a production room with big booming speakers and I just said hey I just want to let you know uh, let you know what your your, uh, your granddaughter's up to and did the same thing with her mom when her mom was at work that's awesome <laughs> and then she threatened to kill me it was it was it was fun a lot of death threats going on but what I'm saying is now fast forward I'm beyond happy and mm -hmm. you just you know eventually you'll find the right person absolutely guy girl whatever is, it is by the way this is Greg Hughes the actor that plays opium I've opium noticed you stepped out yeah no <laughs> because I feel sorry for the kid the, this girl is not worth it if she's sucking cock and telling you about it yeah, you want to be hell? involved with someone like that in a long you know in a long term relationship I wanted to Oh, uh, dude, you'll get a believe me. I've been fucking. I've devastated women, and I've been devastated. How about we you go move around, on. You know, I will. Can't, I can't let this go, Jimmy. You got a story for him? Uh, a real story. I, that, I, that, I, that story I've told I many times on stories. the air. That I'm is a, that is the truth. Um, when I was uh, I guess I was uh, nineteen. I was twenty something. My girlfriend was like eighteen. She was ten years younger, going to college, and uh, we had broken up a little. We were fighting, but then she confessed that she fucked somebody else, and it was just. Devastating. Oh, oh it was awful. Mm -hmm. I couldn't walk up my steps. Yeah. I was crying up oh, the steps. Blubbering. Yeah. Uh, uh, it was awful. Just a fucking Warsh woman. <laughs> Warsh. And, uh... Fast forward 10 years later, I've still found no one, and I'm obsessed with her. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, uh, <laughs> That's where I'll be. No, you get over it, dude. Believe me. It, and it never seems like you're going to. That's the funny part of it. it never, it's, it's always like, this is it. I don't know why we're like that with women. We always see this. We always see a woman and then a brick wall behind her, and that's the last one. Mm -hmm. And then you move when you're, in the, when you're in the moment, you can't see you past it. You cannot see beyond it. And realize it. that this is, like, I look back at what happened to me in Buffalo. I laugh, like, thank fucking God that her true personality came out. Yes, because she, she's, what happens is this. She's a cunt. I hate to tell you that. She's a cunt. Oh, I know. And you would have found that out. You were lucky you found it out in the first six months, because a lot of times guys don't find out for two and a half, three years, and that's a brutal one. Because then your mm. fucking three years of your life are invested, or God forbid you marry this fucking Egg. I was and she gonna would do it when you were married. You were gonna propose. I wanted to. Oh, really you're too badly. young. You're fucking wow. six months in. Bad what? mistake. I wanted to. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't really put too much serious thought towards, but I wanted. No, to. You wanted to. Oh. You wanted to. You, cause you probably doubted her a little bit. You wanted to fucking propose to possess her. That was your way of keeping her. You don't need to keep her. Let her go. You're definitely psychotic, but you seem like you. You, you got your head together. He's reasonably as like, psychotic. As a smart I put guy. The outward appearance of a sane individual. Uh, yeah, got, a little bit. Another story coming in from Than. Than, help out our 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 uh, boy oh, here, Pat. Hi, Than. Hi, Pat. <laughs> Why would the mic work? Yes. Yeah, let's hear about unpleasant incident number 371. <laughs> yes. Um, I was a freshman in college. Ah, uh, strapping young lad. Yes. Big barrel chest. Yes, I hadn't had too much experience, uh, experience with the ladies. Mm. Some, but modest. And, um, Sam, <laughs> we talked about touching. Um, and I hooked up with this one girl and, of course, became kind of obsessed with her. Oh, boy. And I, we had a discussion. I was like, so are we dating? And she said, Sure. And I was like, so exclusively? She's like, yes. I was like, okay. Unfortunately, I guess she forgot that next weekend when we were all at the same party for the crew team, and she was making out with a dude on the couch. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going out. Yeah. And then, of course, I think afterwards I was still, like, trying to make it work or something like an asshole. <laughs> and you get that just empty feeling, right? Like, yep. what the fuck? Yeah. Did you approach her on the couch and go, what, what are you doing? What, tap her on the shoulder? Yeah. No, I... Lamely gave her making out face the finger. I don't think she really uh, saw that. Oh. And it was very sad. That's 
Yeah, it's just the lame. Little thing you went from the corner while you sit punched by yourself. <laughs> How awful. Yep. Anyone else? For oh, and I couldn't, you know, besides being embarrassed about it, it's just a blip. It doesn't even matter. It's irrelevant. Yeah. I mean, he put six months of his life yeah. into it. But. Yeah, it's not quite the same, but you you, yeah. you you forget eventually. Yeah. Anyone else? Oh, yeah. Uh, who doesn't have a story? Yeah, a girl uh, was going out with, uh, decides to uh, go out with one of my friends. Oh, I had that too. Out of nowhere. Yep. So now not only is she out of your life, but she's like right under your nose because she's with one of your friends. So um, I decided to take my um, car at the time, which was a uh, Baja bug, you know? One of those Volkswagen oh, this things. This is a California store. Chopped up like fucking, like a, uh, no, no, it's actually New York. Okay. Uh, you know, like a doom buggy kind of thing. I decided to take that, uh, stormed out of the house, uh, punched the windshield and broke it, uh, and then drove into the woods to drive around in the trails in the woods with my Baja bug and a bottle of uh, Jack Daniels. And uh, I ended up having to walk out of the woods because I went to climb a hill with the, the Baja bug and uh, it stalled I rolled backwards into a tree <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I I got out of the Baja bug and now I'm downhill being blocked by a tree so there's no pushing it and I reach underneath and just feel oil coming out of the engine um, and, but me I'm trying to like move the flywheel uh, and I turn it and my fingernail gets jammed between the uh, timing little spot and the flywheel and mm. I lose my fingernail <laughs> oh. it was really really bad like it was just uh. an awful night but looking back again please who gives a fuck <laughs> please tell me you were sitting there just bawling <laughs> oh I was so oh, upset at that point yeah <laughs> my car my chick I have nothing anymore mm -hmm. I'm 17, and I have nothing. Brian in Boston. Wait, hold on, Brian. First girl I fell in love with. Uh, I forgot about this. I fell in love with her. She didn't technically cheat on me, but after we broke up, she started dating a good friend of mine, a Jamaican, who I introduced her to. Yeah. And I was still friends with him, and fucking, she would still come over and fuck me once in a while. And I'd be like, have you been with him? And she'd be like, yeah. She was with him recently, and what finally got me over her is I was fucking her doggy style, and I could her asshole stunk. And that... <laughs> That was it for me. It's like, good, let the Jamaican have a little stinky yeah, yeah, ass. Throw some curry on it. <laughs> and I've seen her years later in photos. Oh, yeah. Really? I, I'm like, I loved that. You idiot. I couldn't believe that I was so distraught over what the disaster was to become. Sometimes you got to wait a few years and then look back on them. All right, let's say mm -hmm. hi to Brian in Boston. Brian. What's up, guys? I got, a, I got a horror story. When I was 18, I think, I was dating a girl. She was 17, and... Uh, she went on a cruise with her friends. It was Valentine's Day. I think she was gone for about a week. And uh, I was so in love with this girl. It was the first girl I was ever in love with. I bought her a ring while she was gone. I had flowers waiting for her. And she came back, and I was fucking her. I'm like, Jesus, she seems kind of loose. And I drilled this girl about it for months and months. And finally she gave in. She fucked like three niggas on the cruise. Oh, Jesus. Jeez. Could you maybe yeah. use... Um Different language. Sorry. Um, now, I'm sure you probably, at the time, were so upset and angry. I want to say sorry yeah, to Reverend Al Sharpton. That's how I felt at the time. You ah, know, you know sorry. what? Let him sorry, say what he wants. He's angry. He, he was angry at the time. He doesn't be politically correct. That's, that's what, what he said. Did. Right, good Brian. for you. That's Thank what you. he said. You were angry. And now, good for them and their big cocks that they wrecked your personal supply. <laughs> <laughs> now, Pat, give us a thumbs up. Throw those headphones down and get a smile on your face and yeah. get back out there. Move on. And right. Move on. That's All right. right. A smile on your face and the sound of screaming victims in your heart. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Uh, here Patrick we go. Duffy, everyone. Patrick Duffy I'm stepping up. We've been going. moving up the intern ladder right there with uh, that radio. Oh, could I possibly? Uh oh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, 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 whatever you want. Whatever you need. Whatever you need, friend. Can I just give away my MySpace address? Yes. Yeah. 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 In case yeah. those girls want to maybe go out with uh, Patrick Duffy. How about you plug your mom's flower shop? I know that's uh, <laughs> near and dear to your heart. It is. Uh, my mom has a uh, flower shop called Krause's Flowers. It's K R A U S E S Flowers. She started, she started that because she figured you were going to murder people. Exactly. And Family <laughs> no, would flowers. Be flowers. <laughs> but for real, if uh, anybody can go there and buy some flowers, we'll probably give a discount if you mention that you heard it on the radio. Please, Krause's yeah. Flower yeah. Shop. Krause's Krause's go flowers. K R A U S E S Flowers dot com. Please go buy flowers immediately. Please, please, would, please, please. She please, offers please. a discount when you walk please. in. If my son has killed you, please, <laughs> please or at least please. threatened to. Yes. All right. But I could, I, could I get my MySpace yeah, address? Yeah, I, was, I, hang out. I was just going to say I got uh, a little flower joke that pertains to your uh, girlfriend. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's worse? 
then roses on your piano. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yes, I did. Tulips on your organ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, terrific. All right. You are never what to is, blame. Uh, that's right, I'm never to blame. It's uh, myspace.com. <laughs> oh, did you see that jerk? <laughs> myspace.com slash all... <laughs> slash all what? All purpose cleaner. All purpose cleaner? Yes. Now, do you mean that in the sense of you eat pussy or ethnically? <laughs> Both. I was, I was thinking more... Like, in the lines that he kills the people and he also cleans up the crime scene after uh, afterwards. Yeah, an all-purpose cleaner, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. All right, oh. Patrick Duffy, thank, thank you, guys. you. If you want to come in and plug anything else, you're more than welcome. All right, right. there I'm he goes. I have to go to the bathroom. Patrick badly. Duffy has uh, left. Yeah, Steve, fire him immediately. Immediately, <laughs> immediately. And blame yourself. I'm Just removed. get rid of him. Have all the keys changed. Come up with any please. excuse possible, please. Yes. Uh, hold on. What is that? <laughs> Can we do it after the break? Yes. Okay. Oh, I can't spell purpose. <laughs>